say? America, baby, America. Here we go. Hey, Hensi fans. I'm Sam. And I'm Matt. We're the guys recording and editing most of what you see on this channel. This video is Hennessy's 1,000th video. We thought it would be a great opportunity to put a spotlight on some of the team behind the incredible cars and trucks you see on this channel. We asked some of the Hennessy team members what some of their favorite builds were and what it's like to be working here. We only got a fraction of the team in this one, so we're definitely gonna have to do this again. Be sure to comment below if you have a question you'd like us to ask on the next Hennessy team Q&A. All right, now let's go show off the team. Let's make it weird. No, no, no. Let's make it weird. Let's make it weird. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> One, two, three. All right, hold on, bro. Do I have any boogers, bro? <laughs> Where do we start? This way? I already forgot the question. What, what do we do here? What do you do? Brad, Brad, what do you do to, every day? Oh, I'm a fabricator. I build the six by six truck and make stuff fit. Make stuff fit. This is one of the purchasers. Parts for builds, dealing with vendors. I am in sales here, so I help people kind of spec out the packages, dabble with tuner school a little bit, the admissions process, getting into tuner school, finding a job after tuner school. So, part of the HSV team, and I'm a Venom F5 technician. Senior technician. I uh, team lead on the uh, F5 program. I work with the HSV team to build the Hennessy Venom F5. Quality insurance. And I'm the, the final mechanical guy that signs off on it. HSV F5. You're part of the F5 team, bro. Shop foreman. So basically, I babysit all these guys. Production's team leader. So basically, I manage the team, the TRXs, uh, Broncos, Camaros, Mustangs, uh, just pretty much anything that comes through the door. I'm one of the lead techs, uh, F-150s, Raptors. Camaros, Corvettes. I'm an assessment tech here at Hennessy uh, Performance. I'm a technician and a team lead, helping my team with any questions they have, any problems they have. I'm also a technician. I pretty much just listen to Tad. And <laughs> I uh, build whatever Tad tells me to build. Like I rule with an iron fist <laughs> or something. I'm a title performance technician. Build, build, build. I'm a high performance technician. I work in a parts department. Just give out parts, receive inventory, put it away. Technician, uh, do a little bit of everything. I'm the accessories tech, the bumpers, lights. I'm an accessories tech here at Hennessy and loving it. I am the Sooner School instructor. I teach young minds there you go. how to build the fastest, most powerful motors in the world. I am the controller and human resources, so I deal with everyone's problems. I write checks and pay people. Lauren's my best friend, by the way. This is my best friend. You write the checks. I write the checks. I'm the director of operations here. I have a hand in pretty much just about every department here. Is there anything you don't do? Uh, I can't write checks because you won't let me. Yeah. Next question. Oh, no. Uh, well, started at Trinity School in 2014 and went back home to Colorado to try some things out and somehow ended up back here. I had the opportunity to go join the HSV team and build the F5. The first step was to go to Tuner School after that, get hired on, started as a reporter, did that for a little bit, started getting some tech jobs. After being a full-time technician for a while, became a lead technician. After that, just got moved over to the HSV team and started working on the F5. I started five years ago. Before that, I was in the military, I was in the army. I joined Tuner School, and right after uh, I finished Tuner School, I was hired here at Hennessy, and now I'm a lead technician. Been a technician for a Toyota for 14 years. I actually have a twin brother that was working here before me. I used to work at the dealership. A buddy of mine worked here. He's not here today. Could have been in this video. <laughs> told me I should come over here. I've been here ever since. I had a dealership for uh, 13 years. My brother worked here, uh, which he's the one that also brought Donnie over. Uh, I always worked for my brother and he got a job here and I waited eight years before <laughs> they would hire family members. But now you're here. But now I'm here. Yeah, I, I think it was when the very first six by six was built and they got a bunch of orders. And like, we right. need help. Yeah, we needed yeah, help. Yeah. I went to tuner school, got offered a spot at a little bit after graduation. and Living the dream. That's yeah. right, baby, tuner school. Well, too, I also right? started yeah. through tuner school. Uh, just basically asked my instructor for a job every single day. <laughs> One day during class, I went right up to John and asked if they were hiring and got an interview the next day. So 
Us. What? Yeah. Is that really oh, how yeah. that went down? That's really how it went down. So, I actually methodically planned it out to get this job. Wow. So before I came here, I was working in Dubai as a military instructor for their military. And I was like, man, I'm really tired of sitting behind a desk every day. And I like, I miss working on cars. And I was like, where would I want to work if I had my dream job? And I was like, Tennessee. I'm gonna go to tuna school, right? I'm gonna graduate top of my class, valedictorious. Obviously right? that happened. Totally. And then the instructor's just gonna be blown away. He's gonna be like, who is this guy? And where has he been all my life? Yeah. Fact. And that's actually what happened. And then they were like, you, you have to work here. And I was like, well, you know, I mean, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I actually started the day after Clint started here. Yeah. As a technician. And then tuna school stole him from me. Uh, to be an instructor, which I, I think was a great move, but we all miss him here in the shop. I just love it. I'll, I'll go anywhere they want me to go, you know? Any department, doesn't matter. I'll do, accounting? Like, I'll do accounting. Sweet. How about back to production? I love numbers. Working at a dealer for a long time and saw an Indeed ad, applied, moved from Pennsylvania all the way to here. I follow, I follow Alex on Instagram and he had posted that uh, Hennessy was hiring. So I sent it to Jordan and I said, man, you have to apply. He got an interview, he got the job. And then two weeks later, recommended me, and they said, hey, tell him to send his resume. So, little did they know I sent my resume for the third time. That's how I got here. Besides the F5? Besides the F5. Hennessy Maximus. So, full swap, yeah. uh, you pick up the cabin, new drivetrain, full new suspension, bumpers, LED lights, building that thing from frame up. It was pretty exciting. Twin turbo Vipers, twin turbo Corvettes, manual transmission, uh, CTSV wagon. Uh, I believe it made a little bit over a thousand wheel. Favorite would probably be a, it's a twin turbo we did on a Ford GT. I believe it was like an 05, 06. It was just fast, really fast. 991 GT2 RS that I did a couple years ago. I was making over 700 wheel. That thing was just a, a missile. Mustang GT350 from everything from the superchargers and the way that the gearing is set and it's just a, a joy to drive. Uh, my 67 Camaro back home is my baby. I had a um, Mustang GT, love that thing. I have a, a, a top secret project. <laughs> can't tell you what it's, can't tell you what the engine's going in, but it's a small block 350 Chevy that we pulled out of a 78 van and rebuilt to put a 671 blower on. I like doing the Hellcats and the Mopar. I bet you build up in the hundreds of Hellcat platforms yeah. between the trucks and the cars and jack off. Favorite overall, probably, are in a 6x6 just because of how rare it is, how cool it is. There's nothing else like it in the world. I would say my favorite build would be the Exorcist. It's currently a build that I'm doing now. It's probably the new Shelby GT500 1000 horsepower package. So I didn't do anything performance wise to it, but I made the 6x6 look pretty dang cool. I made it look just a little cooler than what it already is. All of my cars are project cars. <laughs> <laughs> do you enjoy working on the 6x6s or is that? I do. We have the recipe down. I made a build book, that's what it is. So now, now I can see. Rad Brad. Yeah. I put gas in a Venom GT once, and I think that was the coolest that I worked on. I mean, I enjoy my own project car as well, uh, working on the Hellcat, but I also did uh, have a part in washing a Venom GT, so. Dude. I'm, I'm gonna put that on a resume. I just finished a TRX build, and like the best thing in the world would be to just Dukes of Hazard that thing and just jump it 12 feet in the air. Let me see performance Trackhawk, uh, four wheel drive, can't beat it. Trackhawks, there's nothing that launches like that. Those things from a dig are just monsters. Trackhawk or 350? GT350, 850 package. I have to go with the GT350 Whipple 850 package. You can slide it, track it, whatever you want to do with it. The red eye or a demon. Just the way that the car is able to like shred tires is awesome. The GT500? The GT500. I'm a pretty diehard Mopar person, but these new GT500s are sick. They look good, they sound good, they drive good. Okay, then definitely a Venom GT. I would bomb that thing all over the street. Okay, the Maximus, probably. Oh, yeah, I would Maximus take a Maximus goes. out to the desert and destroy it. I mean, I've been here for quite a few years now. Exorcists still get me. When Dude. we still, when we cold start the Exorcist here. Yeah, those things are nasty. 
would probably do the lowered F-150 sport truck with a Whipple. I had a chance to build the red Heritage Edition and that thing scared me, honestly. Have had a Bronco, hint, hint, hashtag Ford, on order since February of last year. Once I do get that modified, I would like to take that off-roading and mudding. Yes, the Bronco is not the most powerful vehicle that we make, but I would get it built and I would take it back home to the Virgin Islands, oh, take the top off and you. live on the beach. And when he's done, it'll just be the you know island. <laughs> 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 I say I would still pick the GT3. Oh my this goodness. Guy. I love guy. that car. One track mine. You know what? It's a good track. <laughs> I'm the, I'll be the oddball. I've had one before and I want another one. Mazda RX-7 FD. <laughs> Three rotor, big single turbo, Doritos spinning. <laughs> Let's go. Twin turbo Gen 5 ACR Viper. Vipers have been on my wall since I was a kid, down to the Gen 2, or anything Porsche. Just so luxurious and beautiful. Looks like a painting. It would probably be a Ferrari, not Ferrari. Hit the F50, the Ferrari F50. I've liked that car since I was a little kid. If I could pick any dream car I want, it'd be the Hennessy Venom F5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, under the F5. But the, the McLaren P1, definitely. The P1, if there's no budget, if we're talking realistic, a C6 Z06 or a Fit Gen Z28. LS7, baby. Gen 3 swap, like a 68 GT500. A third gen Camaro with a C7 ZR1 underneath. Dream build for me would be a truck that I currently own, a 01 Ford Lightning. Uh, supercharger, you know, different transmission. Probably put a manual transmission in there. Me, a small GTR R35. I used to daily a uh, 370Z Nismo. A dream build for that car would be a full GTR drivetrain swap. 993 RWB Porsche. Twin turbo, of course. Low, wide, big wing, crazy color. Uh, a GTR would be swap faster. That's nah. great. Man, the Venom GT, the original one. Wow, yeah. Uh, manual transmission was such a fun car to drive. Um, well, I'm hoping we get to build another one. A 67 Camaro on a Roadster shop chassis with a LT4 and a T56 transmission. Mine's is a <coughs> Nissan 240 SX that I have back home. I'd hopefully build that up, have a dream car. Man, probably a 64 uh, Ford Thunderbird. Put a big old turbo motor in it. I'd say mine would be a Pantera. Pantera? Pantera. Pantera, Pantera. Pantera would be pretty cool. Chevy 2 Nova or an old early Camaro with the late model drive train. You can just drive it, be comfortable, you know, go cut up. Yeah. Koenigsegg CCXR. Oh, you're fired. All the way. <laughs> <laughs> not, not really. No. No. I want to hear all eight cylinders banging and the boost blow off out from everything all those First cool gear, noises right. all of the cool noise. <laughs> yeah. what tesla's doing is awesome but it's it's not my realm i like the fire breathing v8s i'm hearing they're well, trying to make something for the enthusiasts <laughs> i've actually looked at the ford lightning no Just looked at why not You're power never... your house with a truck buy a generator oh. don't yeah, need a vehicle drive a generator to the grocery store nope. what are you going to do with a generator at a grocery store the, the electric car is going to have to grow on me. I don't know. There's a little lost connection between the driver and the car to me. I mean, I'd mess around it. Yeah. But I don't know if I'd own one. No. It would definitely hurt to get beat by one. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Definitely hurt to get beat by one. My favorite electric car is the Taycan. I just think it looks cool and it's pretty fast. Uh, my favorite electric car would probably be the uh, Tesla Plaid. You can haul the family around with it, but at the same time, it has a, a ton of speed. It's not um, available right now. It's in Project Deep Space. <laughs> <laughs> That's already been released, hasn't it? We can talk about that? Yeah, Deep Space. Yeah. Tesla. Yeah. Tesla Model S Plaid until we make the Deep Space. The only electric car that's on my list is that Deep Space. Deep Space! Schoolwork. I'm still finishing college. Woodworking. Um, my son is in baseball, so we play a baseball game. Taking care of kids and running after kids and being a mom. We're at the bar without the kids. I, you know, I try to spend time with my family, my son as well. If it's not a karaoke bar, which I love karaoke, <laughs> probably perusing you know, cars.com, Auto Tempest, Craigslist, anything you can think of. Uh, looking for my next horrible financial mistake. Look at cars on the internet. Yep. 
Look at the cars I can't afford. YouTube videos on yeah. cars. I ride dirt bikes. Like to eat. <laughs> Relax. Go to sleep. The couch, the bed, the floor. Free time I have, I guess I don't know. I'm probably take it on my own car. I like to drag race. I have a little S10 pickup. I have two kids, so a lot of times we're either following my daughter dancing or baseball with my son and chasing the kids around and working on hot rods afterwards. Fishing. Just hanging out with family and friends, man. Golf. Big golfer. Basketball. Camping, fishing, outdoors. Play video games. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. Sometimes I go out, go on biking trails, uh, or mountain biking. Spend time with the family. Travel. On the weekends here with these two working on their cars with them. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm at home riding motorcycles with my girl or working on motorcycles. Taking care of my newborn son. That's the same. 24 7 baby, job, baby. honestly. It's always been a fascination of mine. I have a koi pond. Sitting out there on the weekends, feeding my koi and uh, drinking some whiskey. It takes you to that special place. <laughs> I don't really have no fun facts. They're all sad, really. <laughs> uh, fun fact about Tristan is uh, when he first started working here, this guy was very shy. He didn't want to talk to nobody. A couple of the employees here um, kind of really opened him up and got him out of his shell. Now he won't stop talking. <laughs> fun fact about Austin, he used to be part of a team that used to race at Pikes Peak in some very competitive competition. And I think that's that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, a few people get to do that. Fun fact about Paul, actually, uh, you get some alcoholic beverages in him and you put a mic in his hand. <laughs> he is an absolute machine oh, for karaoke. Wow. This gentleman right here next to me is actually having twins with my sister. So. He's your brother-in-law. <laughs> but it sounds better, it sounds wilder. The team name is actually named after these two. Jordan rear-ended Sam. Smash Bros. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy working here. Yeah, it's cool as shit. It's, it's almost like, more home to me than being at home. It's like just coming to hang out with your friends every day, yeah. and then every once in a while you see like an F5 drive by. It's a job, right? You gotta support yourself and shit, but then you tell people that you work at Hennessy, and man, they flip out. I remember the first time I actually heard an F5. I mean, we've seen them around here. We had oh, the mold, dude. but then you hear one driving across the parking lot. Right, so I've been at all the F5 testing. <laughs> it's like... It's cool going across the parking lot, <laughs> yeah. but it's yeah, you're really on a, cool. You're on another level of uh, yeah, awareness. It, and I think this next trip, I might even get to uh, drive it off of the trailer. <laughs> they just, you know, cater to the speed addiction that I have. The up tempo, high energy, uh, loving and caring environment. It's one of the best things that has ever happened to me. They're always ambitious, so it uh, helps to uh, keep me ambitious to accomplish the goals that I want to accomplish. Uh, every day is an adventure. Every day is something new, uh, something fun. I can't say I've ever, in any of my prior professions or jobs, woke up and was like, oh, can't wait to come to work. There's always somebody there to help you if you can't figure something out or somebody to cheer you up if you're feeling down. I was also in the military, like I I've been a number somewhere yeah. uh, to being somebody that can make real changes in a company. For the most part, you're on the leading edge of technology or development. You know, there's yeah. there's stuff that we get to build or we get to, to look at before anybody else gets to look at it. I've worked for independent shops. I've worked for Jiffy Loop. I've worked for dealerships and nothing else compares to the kind of atmosphere that we get here. So coming from a military background, I would say as well culture. Culture is one of the biggest things here in uh, Hennessy. Everybody treats each other respectfully and we're like brothers, we're all brothers. Uh, it doesn't even feel like work. Just love it, honestly. You know, you work at a lot of places and they talk about like, we want to be a, more like a family, like a second family to you. Yeah. And I really feel like it is. Just the small stuff, like buying us lunch, catering us lunch, um, which I mean, to me, isn't even that small. Super awesome environment, awesome cars. Not much more you can ask for. It's very rare that you find a job where you want to come in on your off days. So, or you have a hard time clocking out yeah. for yeah. lunch because you're like, let me just finish this one thing. Yeah, you know? one more yeah. It's fun watching and seeing uh, junior techs go to senior techs. That's that's so rewarding. In my uh, younger years, you know, I was a coach for my son, so uh, that helped a lot. Mentoring younger younger individuals and um, John has allowed me to do that here uh, you know I've known John forever uh, heck I think we met 
20 plus years ago, uh, street racing, actually beat them, you know, but keep that on the wraps. But we put out quality product, you know, because at the end of the day, our name, you know, your name gets etched in an emblem that gets put on a vehicle. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I want to make sure if my name's on, on that vehicle that it's it's right. Really, if, if you want a, a great job at a uh, performance automotive shop, you know, definitely try to become part of this great team we have here. All right, that's it. Thank you, bro. Thank you. bro. Appreciate you. All right, we hope this gave you a little bit of an idea of what it's like to work at Hennessy and who are these people behind these crazy builds. Thanks for watching Hennessy Performance YouTube channel's 1,000th video. We're so excited to bring you the next thousand. Make sure to comment below if you have a question you'd like us to answer in the next Q&A or if you just have an idea for the next video you'd like to see us do. Wait, we have a thousand more videos to edit? Till next time. Hey, Hennessy fans, it's Alex here. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's get juice. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Get juice right here, baby. Let's go. Hey, guys, Alex from Hennessy here. <laughs> you seen my Supra? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Don't get me started on his Supra. I'm going to call Alex yeah. out on camera to race me. Let's go, oh. Alex. We're finally going to get fired after. Right. I love you, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Hey Alex, we're just joking. <laughs>